Hi guys, welcome back on my channel, Dorota Palitska International, new artist and educator here, and I have prepared some easy crystal placement to new art for you. Have a preview of it in here. Looks fantastic and it's really not over the top, and I hope you really enjoy learning those quick and easy designs. Let's start! They are very simple designs, but so beautiful. So we are going to use the black foil gel because this one is quite precise. Um, you need a bit of skill to be able to use it, uh, but I think it gives a fantastic result. So I'm just going to clean my brush and pick up a scoop of this gel on the side. My tips are buff, so if you do it on the client, you'll finish off the nails and shall like buff them nice. Now I'm going to pick up um, like a blob on my brush and then we are going to start painting the design. It's really simple. Basically what you want to do it is go thicker and then thinner. Make sure you distribute your gel nice and evenly. And then on the other side, we are going to do exactly the same, but just thicker here and then thinner on the top. You could get a really nice inspiration uh, for those kind of designs from the uh, necklaces or earrings, like um, it's a really good way to get inspired. Case, as you can see it, absolutely simple. And then we can just add another line inside, just like this. And another one on the side. Color some particles of it, but not full. And then we are going to cure it. The curing time is you need to have a lamp which has a low settings. So slow curing motion. And we are going to cure 60 seconds. I'm just making sure my tip is placed correctly. And it's cooking. Okay. On this one, we are going to do a slightly different design. So I want to paint like an oval shape. Maybe not oval, like an um, teardrop. Okay, now work on the lines so they are even. Add some detail on the side. Okay. 
and also you can add some sort of leaf shape on the top. I'm just going to clean my brush so it behaves a little bit better. Add some detail inside. and then add some lines. Okay, so this way we have painted another jewel. Again, cure it, and this one is ready. We can cut a small piece of the transfer foil. I'm going to go for a gold on this one. Grab my scissors. And then we can transfer it. Place your foil in between the fingers and then hold it so you can transfer it. Go over it again. just to catch up any missing places. And then place this one on the side so we've got a nice gold detail there. The other one is cooking. So we can paint another design. Okay, on this one I want to do some um, S letter. And then last S letter again. Add some space inside for a gem. And another one. Okay, let's cook it. And actually, I'm going to use the gold one for this one. Oh no, maybe rose. Uh, no, let's do it all in gold. So place in between the fingers and hold it till you're happy. That was actually an amazing go. I didn't expect it to be so good by the first time.
And because this one was so good, I'm going to touch up this one a bit more. Or maybe not. Yes, here, just in there. Usually with this transfer gel, you've got just a one go. Um, so I'm just going to wait for the other one to cook. And then let's add some other detail into it. So on this one, I want to grab some stones. I've got a few different ones. And for the stones applications, we are going to use the base gel. So we'll grab a base gel. And it will look so pretty once we add those gems. Actually, I could place even a bigger one in here. So let me just quickly transfer the foil into this one. And if you can try to transfer it in two parts, I cannot do that because my tip will fly. Doing it on the client is much easier. So I've got just one go and the top parts and the bottom parts will be missing because my thumb just doesn't hold the, uh, this much of the nail. And then I'm going just touch up those places. See, this one wasn't pressed enough. So I have removed those tiny bit of the inhibition layer which I needed, which might result of not getting as nice results, but actually it's still quite good. Okay. Let's, let's decorate our base. <laughs> It's almost like um, playing into the Jevil's shop. <laughs> I'm just needing a larger crystals. I've got so many of them. There we are. So in this one, we are going to add this large one in the middle. And then some small ones on the side. I think they are such as elegant designs that any client would love it. Like a real gem. Jevil. And the last one. To be honest, I just like it the way it is. It's so simple, so pretty. Let's cook it. On this one, we are going to go maybe with a heart shape. Why not? Let me check it. Yes, we are going to go with the heart shape. That looks so pretty. So get this large gem in here. And then freeze it. And then we can add a couple more gems in here. So in there and in there. We are going to place this shape. So depending on what um, on the gold you have created, you would choose different type of crystals. So this one is just screaming to me, place it there. Like absolutely, it just fits in perfect in here. This one will be too large. So ideally, I want to use a smaller one, which I've got in here. I've got more in there. Sorry, cameraman. I'm just probably out of the camera searching for my crystals. Oh, this one would be good. Okay. I find the one I was searching for. And this one fits in perfect in here. 
actually I should replace this one now <laughs> no I'm going to keep it I'm going to keep this one just made it a bit higher perfect freeze it and then grab the ones which are getting ready so this one I want to add a tiny bit more blink into it just to make it prettier and the place you could do it is either on that side or on that side and I'm going to do it here so just add a row of the tiny wee crystals and the smallest ones I've got is the box of those crystals here sorry cameraman you saw zoom in that's I'm scared to move <laughs> Okay, so I'm just going with those tiny wee ones around it. I think that would be a really nice uh, design for a Valentine's Day. I know we've got a little time to, to go. Uh, obviously, I will show you lots of different ideas for a Valentine's. I'm trying to don't hide too much of those gold because it's so pretty. If your gem doesn't uh, come off from the um, uh, wax, then that's mean you have not enough base gel. And that's what I'm doing. I'm just applying a drop more of the base gel. And just stick those little crystals in. <clears throat> crystals always look so pretty. Now we don't want to leave the crystals which are kind of unfinished and I feel they are unfinished uh, so what we need to do it no actually maybe, yes no yes we need that <laughs> so what I'm going to do it is I will just grab a um, gold caviar bead not many of them just a wee couple let's freeze this one and add some sparkle here too so on this one i want some sparkle to go on that corner and that corner again do not cover the gold and i can go larger and smaller so i've got three large Again, drop more of the base gel. Let me know if you're enjoying those crystal placement uh, nail arts. Freeze it. And grab the other two. They're so pretty. Three and three. It's just because the crystals are too too large to be placed in there so I'm just finishing off with three caviar beads at the each side this is just perfect and I'm happy with this one don't spoil it don't add anything more on this one this one I'm 100% happy with it as well so let's grab the high shine no wipe top gel and if I would be doing it on the client, what else you could do it like the same like I did on my nails. I have put some smaller crystals around it. Um, but if you don't want any other crystals around it, what you could do it is you could go with the base gel around it. But this one actually doesn't. That is the only place which is which could be catch is here. So I would just put a base gel underneath of that um, to make sure there is nothing catchy. But let's stop coat this design. Ideally, you don't want to go over the gems. You just want to go nicely around them but kind of give it those shaky motion so your top coat really goes in there
there is also the video of my nails as well, how they have been on. See what I'm doing? I'm almost placing the brush underneath of those large crystal just to smooth out any transition in between that. And the first one is all nice and pretty. Second one, I could do some cover bits in here as well. So just three, three, three and three. Clean the brush. Just to finish it off. And same on the other side. That was a nice pick, three straight away. If you've got too much, just uh, touch it on the mixing palette. And usually I keep it for later on, like um, to finish off the design, if I want to add any more somewhere. I don't like this empty space here. So just fill that up with the caviar bit. Cook it. And then we are going to apply the top coat into our next design. Move the caviar bits on the side so they don't so you don't drop them, that would be a disaster. Now here, I might struggle a little bit with the top coat, so that's the place I want to start with. If it's necessary, go and use a smaller brush. I'm just going to play with my brush around it. There we are, place the top coat underneath of the gem. Give it a shake so the top coat goes in between those crystals, cap the free edge and then apply it on the top over the caviar bits. I always use the top coat. So just place it there. Go around it and we've got another nail top coated. Let's cure it and do the same on the last one. So that's our last one. So here I might not be able to, oh maybe, what I did, I have flattened my brush, so you can see it here is quite wide, and then here is flattened. So I can squeeze it in between that, just to make my life easier. But as I say, you can easily use the small brush. I don't know why I'm, like I used to use a small brush uh, for the crystals application, and then since I start to learn how to play with my large brush, I'm kind of doing it with the large one. Again, make sure the top coat goes in between the crystals. And because we apply the top coat kind of messy this way, when we're working only with the corner of the brush, you have to smooth it out. Look what I'm doing. I'm smoothing it out. then caviar bits top coated and then go around the crystals, give it those shakes so it caps the crystals. Finish it off and that's another nail ready. Now I can show you all three of them. So very simple design, like you don't need lots of skills, you just need to learn how to use the transfer foil gel. If you find that this one is too tricky, guys, for you, because it is all about the curing, uh, then I do recommend it for a beginner's, the transfer foil gel glue. You cannot be maybe that precise because it's clear, it's harder to see it, what you're painting. That's why I prefer for the detail at work, uh, the black one. But it's much easier to, uh, to do the designs with it for someone who don't know how to use uh, this one. So the hard one goes right in the middle. Uh, what always, um, what first of all, when you top coating the designs, do not touch it with your fingers until the top coat cools down because then that will lose your shine. Uh, and then I, you can see there is quite a lot of dirt uh, from the wax. Uh, so usually I would take a clean wipe and I would just kind of like polish those crystals. I don't want to do it too much uh, now because we have to wait for a top coat to cool down a couple seconds. Same this one, it can go in here. So I'm pressing it down on the crystal to don't touch my top coat. Clean the, clean the crystal so it's not as waxy. And then the third, I love the middle one with the heart, it's so pretty, actually they're all pretty, such a simple 
simple look like very minimalistic i would say but absolutely amazing and i hope you have guys really enjoyed this tutorial sending you glittery hugs and bye for now